Today on Penguin Propaganda, I'm taking excerpts from my Twitch stream to show what it is like to run a new game on day one using Linux. We'll be running Elden Ring using Proton. I hope this will highlight some of the troubleshooting steps a user can expect when running a game on Linux and how to work around some of the problems. So there's Elden Ring, it's ready to play. Okay, I'm gonna switch my view. We'll just go to this view for now. Hopefully top right works just like Dark Souls and it looks okay. Uh, we'll get back to there and let's launch it and see what happens. Let's keep our fingers crossed that it doesn't just crash. Easy anti-cheat. Steam's trying to set it up as a service. So this is supposed to be a plug-in for Steam so we'll see if it actually works. I don't really like that, but it is what it is. If it, if it runs, I'll put up with it. <laughs> I understand because they're trying to eliminate all the cheating that was in the other versions. So we'll see what we'll see if that does anything for us. Because the other invasions were really bad on people. So there's lots of cheaters. But this is first time setup, so who knows how well this will work. But I think this stream will be good. Like if you're new to Linux and you want to see what it's like to try and play day one on a, on a game the first time it runs, here's what you can expect. Um, okay, you can expect it to crash, apparently. Okay, so let's check properties. Go to compatibility, let's force 7.01. Supposedly that's supposed to work. So let's keep our fingers crossed that that actually runs. And I mean, I have a pretty recent version of um, Wine on this machine, so I don't think I'd need to reinstall Wine to get it to work. Because Proton should keep that updated. So we'll see what happens. Keep our fingers crossed. Is it launching? It says it's running. Initializing. For 7.0.1. It looks like it's at least got a screen. Could we have actually gotten it to work? We'll know in a minute. Some kind of a flash of something. Bandai Namco from software. Holy crap. It looks like it's working. All right, so we're going to we're going to try the Xbox 360 controller. Or this is the Xbox God, is this the new, this is the, just the Xbox, the new Xbox controller. Okay, and that doesn't do anything. Okay, so that's a problem. But we can use mouse and keyboard for a minute. Okay. You have to use, you have to use the mouse wheel for this. Okay. See if the controller works now. Okay, so the controller's not working. I might have to do some stuff to do that. Alright, we're just gonna accept. <laughs> Failed to log into the server. Okay, so that just doesn't do network, but that's fine. Wait, what? Why is my mouse? Okay, I wanna go to system. Let's see if the controller works. 
Okay, so controller's not working at all, so I'm probably going to have to get out of this. And I can't. Um... Um, can't get out. Ah, there you go. You have to right click to get out. All right, so we're going to quit the game. And you can see it took a second. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to check the controller settings here real quick. I'm not really worried about getting on the network. I just care about playing the game. And I care about the controller. Um, so sometimes using, so that's enabled, see how it's enabled, um, see overriding. Use default settings. Okay, we're going to disable Steam input, because I had this problem with uh, Dark Souls 2, I believe. So let's see if this works. See if we can get the controller to work. That would be really good. And also, it would be good to see if it runs. Sometimes you'll find it works once, and then the game doesn't run a second time. So we're going to see if that works. So far, that's, that's, that's exciting. At least, we got, at least we got it to start. Okay, so this is the second time we've run it. Let's hope the uh, controller works. If the controller doesn't work the second time, hmm, I'm not sure what to do. We'll try flipping settings and screwing around with it, but hopefully this does it. Okay, controller works now. Okay, I don't care about that. All right, new game. Uh, that's probably good. Next. Okay, it's running out of the box so far. Okay, so you can do Vagabond, Warrior, Hero, Bandit, Wretch. All right, we're going to start with Wretch. I don't know what type A or... Oh, type A, B. Do you want female or male wretch? That's the question. That is that is great. Okay. I'm going to start out just like this. Here we go. Elden Ring. Yes. Start the game with this. Please work. Let's keep our fingers crossed that it loads and actually plays be amazing the fallen leaves tell a story the loathsome dung eater <laughs> The Dung Eater. And Sir Gideon Othmere. The All-Knowing. The All-Knowing. Okay. This looks good. So these are all the guys I must have to kill, I assume, at the Elden Ring? Or... No. But we know that the game just crashed. <laughs> so that's great. So we got we got all the way to where we actually play the game. And then it crashed. <laughs> so let's 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 see if it'll actually let you play the game. So so far we've made a character, we got through the first cutscene, and then the game crashed. <laughs> we got the controller to work. Uh, we used the 7.01 patch, which made it actually launch. Which is good, but we can't get on the network, which might be because of launch. 
telling you don't don't disconnect. You don't want to get into network. So let's see system. Let's see if there's a no matchmaking. Okay. Play offline. So we'll just play offline for now. And let's look and see if there's any... Oh, camera speed. Um, look. Yeah, we definitely want the lower control vibration. Continue. Let's see if the game will actually load. You crack pots or other containers to craft certain items. Container or items will run out with use, but the containers themselves will remain. Shields allow you to use the parry skill to deflect enemies' close range attacks. Okay, let's keep our fingers crossed that it actually launches and doesn't crash again. Okay, we're gonna skip that. And it's doing its load thing this time. So keep your fingers crossed. Well, we're loaded. Oh boy. New the ring. Why, okay, okay, this is very, wow, it's a little, okay. I can move around, but boy, it's like, wow. I, I heard they locked it at 60 FPS, but holy crap, you can really tell. All right, let me see if I can adjust the graphics. Okay, this is a cool image. Thing. Let's see if we can adjust the resolution, advanced settings. So it's, it's a medium. At this point, the game seems to run decently. Now I've since adjusted some settings to get performance a bit better, and there's some issues with the game's memory management. So it appears easy anti-cheat does cause some problems as well. In addition, there's a bug with invisible enemies that a large number of people are experiencing unrelated to Linux, so that appears to be a situation we'll need to wait for a game patch to fix. You can find me on Twitch or see videos here from time to time. Feel free to like and subscribe if you like this video, and thanks for watching.